Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I'd like to take a couple of minutes now to recommend and introduce you to another one of my playlists. Uh, this one is titled, Was Paul a Diatribalist? Pro Sopapia. Now, there are four videos on the playlist. This introductory video will make it five. But there's, it, it's not a long playlist. Uh, the, the total, uh, I guess, is, is, is maybe an hour approximately teaching on this subject. But I believe that this playlist is very important for everyone to at least consider as a possibility. Um, I have basically come to the conclusion that uh, uh, prosopopoeia or, or Paul's use of, of prosopopoeia and uh, diatribalism is, uh, is the only way that some of the things that we attribute to Paul um, it really make any sense. For example, we know that, that Paul says you're saved by faith alone with no works required. It's uh, by faith, not by following the law. And yet, in Romans 2, uh, uh, it says uh, in verses 6 and 7, Here's Paul in his letter saying, Who will repay according to each one's deeds to those who by patiently doing good seek for glory and honor and immortality? He will give eternal life. So Paul is saying that God will give eternal life to those people who are, are doing good deeds. We know that that's not this, the gospel. We know that's not what Paul believed and taught. And to drive that point home further, in verse 13, this is also Paul's letter. People attribute this to Paul. And here Paul says, For it is not the hearers of the law who will be righteous in God's sight, but the doers of the law who will be justified. Now, for those people who want to draw a distinction of being justified in God's sight by faith, but being justified in man's sight by the law, um, uh, that is a totally fallacious position, in my opinion. No one is justified in my sight as a man by their their ability to follow the law they're doing good deeds their works if you're doing any works your works do not justify you in my sight but they say in god's sight you're justified by faith and that's the message paul is preaching uh, that is his primary message that if you want to be justified in God's sight, if you want to be saved, then it's entirely by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone, not by following the law. And yet here in verse 13, he says, it is not the hearers of the law who will be righteous in God's sight, but the doers of the law who will be justified. If we just read this verse out of context, and uh, most people, uh, if I said, well, what book of the Bible would you find that in? They would think this was from the book of James. It sounds exactly like what James would say, not what Paul would say. So how do you explain uh, these words that Paul wrote uh, that are diametrically opposed to his gospel? Uh, it's the pr principle, the technique, the oratory device known as prosopopoeia. 
Um, now, it, when you watch my playlist on this, uh, you're going to hear me butcher the word prosopopoeia. Uh, I pronounce it 20 different ways. It's just, it's like a tongue twister for me, but finally I've got it down and I know how to pronounce it correctly, prosopopoeia. Uh, but to me, this is, this is the only way that uh, these statements by Paul make any sense. That these were not Paul's views, but Paul was telling us the views of the false teachers. And then, so this portion of scriptures is a dialogue, not a monologue. It's between Paul expressing his point of view versus what the false teachers are, are teaching. So this is a very important playlist because when we understand that Paul used this technique, at least in Romans, and I believe probably elsewhere, then it finally we can make sense of these uh, statements that are attributed to Paul that absolutely contradict his, his doctrine. So I hope you'll watch this playlist and, uh, and consider it. And if you believe that this is all wrong, then please tell me how it's wrong, and uh, I'd be I'd love to hear to any opposing viewpoints. So, uh, thank you for watching, and bless you in the name of our great Savior God Jesus.